Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah. <laughs> so she helped Nike. Yeah. So how did you how did you like like taking and being a, a person who can engineer your music? You so you pretty much can Shout do out to Bone Town, but you man, don't do you don't do beats me. though. I used to, yeah I, I could do beats. So you could do your whole process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't do that because I start I start trying to not wear so many hats. I got I'm it. like, man, I got to let somebody do something. I, I, you feel I, what I I'm saying? That. And uh, shout out to Boom Town, because uh, when I was signed to Boom all them years ago when I was talking to you about, I used to stay up so long at night recording. This, and this remind me of some shit Jordan would. This remind me of some shit my manager would do. I was up all night recording so much, that bitch was like, bitch, I'm tired. I'm finna go to sleep. Look, push this button, push this button, and push that. And that's how I learned, so bro. Learning. He was just so exhausted. He was like, bro, bitch, you stay up too late. Yeah. I'm tired. You working. I got to show you how to do this shit. And then he showed me a little bit, and I learned some more, and learned some more, and learned some more. And then I just self-taught myself. I turned everything up, everything down, seen what it did. Oh, this Dang. is what that dude bet. Yeah, I spoke on a low D's in Yellow a while ago. Have you ever did anything? Because I know Yellow Beezy did some of Chris Brown. Have you did some of Yellow Beezy? Hell no, nah. Yellow Beezy, you full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, that man know damn well we supposed to bend this and yeah. shit together. And Freddie, that's my nigga. Yeah, yeah. Freddie, before Freddie took off, man, Freddie done been, Freddie knew my, Freddie held my son when my son was a newborn. Freddie done st came to Atlanta, stayed at my house. Freddie wanted to, truth be told, a lot of niggas don't know this. I, I had songs popping a lot of shit before Freddie. Freddie the first nigga that showed me how to get paid off my music. Dope. A lot of these niggas won't say that. No, you right. I knew how to do a lot of shit. That man sent me down and actually showed me how to get paid off my music. Ways I didn't know. That's so that's shout out to that's live. Freddie. That's real life. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. You can't you can't beat that with a bat, man. Oh, that's for so, real. So so when you look at all the stuff that happened in the Dallas Fort Worth area, man, how do we how do we make our city? Bigger than Houston, bigger than Atlanta, bigger than New York, bigger. How do we make this thing pop, man? Man. I put it out there. But we got, <laughs> what lit, Real talk, bro, niggas got to work together. Bro. Yeah, that's what I think, too. Because one thing that make Atlanta, Atlanta, is them niggas work together, bro. Mm -hmm. Certain niggas might be, but it's so many people popping that even if the people that beef ain't working around with each other, it's enough other artists. Everybody working with each other, bro. So it's like they sharing fan bases. Uh -huh. They sharing fan bases. And it's like as long as you good at your craft, you got an opportunity to gain another fan base. Wow. And it's like these niggas are afraid of, that's just like, man, this little nigga I got to shout out. Shout out, Bebe. Come and tell you. Bebe got that factor I got. We get in front of some niggas and they so intimidated by our star power, by our energy, that they down there won't introduce you to another motherfucker. Because wow. they're like, if this person see him, he might not fuck with me the same. But it's like, bro, when you confident in who you are and what you could do, none of that shit matters. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. You know what I'm saying? But in this game, it does matter to, to niggas who ain't confident in who they are or what they can do. You did what I'm saying? That's just like putting a nigga on. That's just like putting a nigga on one of your plays. Like you might not, nigga might want a thousand pills. You might not got them pills right now. See, but your partner might. So you put them on him. But even though you always got them, this one time, if you put them on them, you might lose that play forever. Mm -hmm. You did what I'm saying? And it's like the fear of that. <sighs> Period. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one.